Well hello there everyone and welcome back to another video here on Theme Park Jack. Today we're here at Flamingo Land Resort up in Malton in North Yorkshire and we've come to do a vlog from there, Zoo Plus Days. There are set to be a few rides open today, however um, Mumbo Jumbo and the Pterodactyl are currently closed for high winds. But yeah, the focus of today is going to be going around the zoo, seeing all the animals and we're also going to check out what's going on at the park. Um, over the closed season, including I'm going to be filming a construction update on the um, the ten inversion coaster, which will be a separate video. So then we've made our way round here, and whilst most of these rides aren't open, it is still all um, free for us to walk round. And um, yeah, obviously the um, the ten inversion coaster, the track is fully complete on that, and I have got some more details on that, and that is going in a separate construction update. And um, if you're watching this vlog now, that will have already been uploaded to YouTube. But yeah, so firstly, we can see a lot of work um, going on with Velocity in terms of the paint of it. Now, it's getting painted grey, um, the supports on it, and I think that looks a lot better. We don't know whether they're going to paint blue over it, but from the way it looks on there, it, look, it does look like that could be to stay, to be honest. And if it is, I don't mind, to be honest. I think it looks quite futuristic, to be honest, and, and modern. And I think with the whole motorbike theme, it really does fit in with the hub area quite well. And um, yeah, the elephants have been really stripped back as well. I tell you something, it's great for getting some videos and pictures round here. Sorry if it is really windy, but yeah, they're just not fenced anywhere off. Um, obviously the construction site they have, but all the paths around the park you can still get up and yeah, we can get right up here, very, very close to the new coaster. But you can see in the station one there and all the wheels and the brakes as well. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, that's from the transfer track. But yeah, you can get really up and close with it. And of course, the runoff for the um, Velocity launch too. But all of that is coming in my um, construction update from the coast. But wow, you can get nearby here, can't you? This area has been fenced off for years. Like, really has. Like, you can never normally get round here anymore. I mean, look, got motors round here. And we can get a really good look at the progress being made as well. On um, Velocity's repaint. So we go there. I think it'll look really good once that's done. Right, well, it doesn't seem like the Flamingo One Cars ride is doing very well in the wind and um, all the rain, of course. This is another ride that's meant to be open um, on Zoo Plus days, which is what we've come for today at the weekends and um, February half term. But um, yeah, the rides are stranded now and they're having to do um, an evac on it as well. Okay, so Mumbo Jumbo, as you can see, can be open once the wind dies down. And it is forecast to later on this afternoon die down a bit, so I'm hoping we'll be able to get on this. It is a really good ride that I do enjoy. But yeah, there is a train on the circuit in the station, and the ride can operate once the wind dies down. Gotta tell you something, this is absolute hell in this weather. Oh my God, it's rough. But yeah, we've come over to Kamali now, and um, yeah, the um, the gift shop here and it sells um, like their fast tracks uh, as well and ice creams and stuff. The roof is being refatched on that and uh, from the looks of it anyway. And they're clearly doing some building maintenance there. I would expect that shop to be back though in the 2020 season, definitely. However, probably with some new signs because they are absolutely broken up down there. But um, no real changes with Kamali to be honest. The, um, there might have been a bit of work done on the rock work round the side because we have seen some videos over the last years, few years of that like decaying a bit and it rotting away a bit and it just looking a bit of a mess. But um, yeah, not much is actually going on with Kamali itself, to be honest. Um, no new repaints or anything like that on this, which it don't really need, to be honest. Just a bit of a jet wash round where it's got some dirt on it and sort this ride out fine. But yeah, not much going on round here, unfortunately. 
this won't be open even if the weather does die down later um this ride will, will only be open for um the start of the season it's not opening for the zoo plus days that is only mumbo jumbo and um and pterodactyl but it's great how close we can get to these rides they're not fenced off at all one of the um, carriages from the Dactari Express has been taken off here um, clearly to have some maintenance done to it and uh, possibly with a bit of a paint up and um, yeah they've got this here presumably to do some maintenance up there on Kamali but um, oh no though I tell you something it's very full this lake um, much more and it'll be flooding up right up here but yeah it's full to the brim this lake is but while we're down here um, I think we should sure just mention about that they need to do something to this building here that's been boarded up for a few years that used to be a little cafe and that needs to be reopened soon and they also think that they need to start putting like paddle boats back on um back on the water over here i think that'd be a really nice attraction for the families and it would mean that you can get really nicely up and close to kamali there to its cobra roll and you'd be able to get some great photos of that from the pedalo boats and um other stuff they could do over here they could put a zip wire up as well and some stuff they are definitely things for the future but we'll discuss them more in a future video but we're now going to go into the um the lorry key enclosure yeah guys you can get a pot of nectar for a pound by the way and then we'll all come over and say hello Well then, despite all the flooding, you would have thought that the Lost River Rides um, pond at the bottom would be absolutely full, but it's the opposite. It's been completely drained out, and um, yeah, there's nothing going on here. You can actually see all like the braking mechanisms and stuff that are underneath the ride to stop the boat as it hits the splash pole. Lions up there having a quick look out the window. They're not even in the air, but in the building closer today, they're all up inside. Right, I am sure this tiger is giving us a run around here. So we were down there, went up to the window, and as soon as we get there to take a video, of course it turns around and walks off. And now we've come up here to try and film it, the thing has just disappeared. We've walked everywhere for it, we've been trying to hunt it down for the past 10 minutes, and yeah, nowhere to be seen. So we're going to have another look and see if we can find the tiger, but if not, um, we won't be seeing any of him today. But we did just catch a good glimpse of the red panda then just a shame that they're behind all these branches but yeah um got a good glimpse of him i've never seen um, him out before when we've been around here so that was a nice shot oh it's awful trying to film with all the glare but some tortoises in there the peacock the male one the female ones are over there we've just come for a bit of a walk around there that hot chocolate was delicious just come around to see um some of the rest of the animals of like the ones of them that are out there are more but a load of them are inside but we're going to see as many as we can unfortunately we're not having much luck though at the minute with um rides reopening because it's still staying really windy unfortunately and the weather forecast has changed and it doesn't look like um, it's going to die down much before the end of the day, sadly. But never mind, only a few weeks until they open, and I've got some new parks in the pipeline over the next few weeks as they start to open for you guys to vlog. Massive penguin house round here. Oh, 
I know you guys probably can't really see, I can't really see them either, but yeah, the flamingos of Flamingo Land are not out. They're meant to be in that enclosure over there, but yeah, they're in the little shed over there. Now though, we're not having much luck for animals being out today. I'm filming literally everyone that is though. Oh, it goes a while back, this does. It goes right down to the lake down there. But I thought I did see someone. I looked over here earlier, so they'll be around somewhere. But I tell you something, they're good at hiding. I think I filmed around here last time and they um, did a very good disappearing act then as well. Let's see, do we have any round here? Oh yeah, we do. We're in luck. Yeah, I've got three of them over here. Let's have a little zoom in for you guys there. Here you go. Not really doing much, they're just sat there, sat there chilling in the shade really. Right then, so we've made our way over here now. Just got you a few more shots of the Lost River ride and how that's been kind of drained out. You can see there, that's where it normally stops. You can get a view over the giraffe and zebra enclosure. Um, but yeah, basically, we've just seen one more jumbo going around. So we're gonna head towards that. Just before we make our way over then, this is obviously the new cheetah enclosure. Seems like they're venturing out a bit further now, but we were told at the end of last year, the reason that they kept pacing up and down here was because they could see the lions over in the next enclosure and they were clearly quite timid by them. Oh yeah, we read it again, they're kind of doing the same thing still. Yeah, these were new for last year. Right guys, we're in luck. Mumbo Jumbo has reopened. And he has absolutely no queue. Right, let's go and get on. I don't have the GoPro with me because we we're expecting it to be shut today. So I'll include a POV that I shot last summer when I was here in for this. It's the same ride, isn't it? So I'll just put a POV in that I filmed last year um, from the ride so you can see what it's all about. But I'll still give my review of how it's running today once we get off and get you some off ride check. Right, we're here. Walk on queue. We'll be on the next carriage after this. They only have it on a one train service, but understandably. Oh, absolutely buzzing that we've got back on this. God, there's hundreds of caravans over there. Oh, right, here we go. <laughs> wow. Wow. Here we go, banking out. 
Then we're going upside down. Hang time. <laughs> Oh, this is good, this. <laughs> so then, two rides done and dusted on Mumbo Jumbo. One in the front, one in the back. Both were great. He was running as smooth as ever, actually. God, though, it did feel really windy up at the top. He was saying that um, the max it can run at is actually 33 miles an hour, the wind speed, so that's worth bearing in mind if you guys are coming. So it's only just dipped below so it can open, but yeah, we had two good rides on that. Um, I will have slipped in a POV that I filmed last summer. Uh, I don't have my GoPro with me today, but even if I had filmed a POV with the GoPro, it'd be awful anyway, the quality of it would just be uh, all the wind noise up at the top of it. But yeah, we had a really good ride. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna get going soon. We're gonna go and film the construction update coaster now but we are pretty much done for for today the only other ride that's open here at the park is the twistosaurus and uh, the only major ride anyway that is a family spinning coaster the pterodactyl will not be open but obviously that can't today yeah crazy coaster that's that shut today is usually obsessed with going in the crazy combat. I'm not a massive fan now to be honest, but I'll go in from time to time. It's alright. It's something different, isn't it, for a theme park? Like the only other park that's ever had something like that was Fort Park where they did that in um oh god not Canada Creek, what's it called now? It's an old town and they did um that event in there where it was like um, a shooty thing around there but where um, Loggers Leap was but um, yeah, that's a really nice unique thing to the park that I think they've got with the crazy combat, I like that. But nothing else really going on around here. Um, and I'm sure you can imagine the splash battle is short. Um, but I see the uh, flip flop short as well. But oh my god, are, we, are they joking me? Pterodactyl are testing in this. Wow. Well, if it does open up then to the public, because it doesn't look like it is at the minute, I'll go and have a go on that and slip you in a POV from that too. Um, the Zoom ride is also a good one, that's on the Air Force ride, where it's like all the little planes that you go around in. And um, that's about it for rides. Bit of maintenance going on there from Flip Flop. And we've got a drained splash battle. And they need to do something more with this for over the next few years in terms of theming. As I do the Lost River ride as well, they could, both the water rides here could do with um, a bit of enhancing with the effects, definitely. Um, but yeah, definitely get that volcano back working again. But now we're going to go and see if Pterodactyl is going to swing him around like mad, but if it opens, I'll be straight on it and I'll slip in a POV. The Dino Roller has had a really smart repaint. the ride operator there he's just doing a few final checks and then um looks like i'll be getting on um yeah it's going to be very windy up there but oh yeah very very windy i can imagine we're swinging around like mad even on a normal day it's very windy so i'll um i'll put in a pov from the summer after this and you will just see how windy it is on a normal day so yeah i mean look even the wind shaking but yeah there we go let's get up there Let's go on, the pterodactyl. Five minutes now tests are still going on not sure if it's going to be opening or not i really hope it does but uh, again it's going to be very breezy up there we'll see if we get lucky <laughs> Go 
great views over the countryside there. It's in a beautiful area. Yeah, we've not even seen a quarter of that zoo there. I'll film a proper video going round the zoo next time we come. And as I said, now we've got season passes. Um, you know, so um, as I was talking about earlier, paid the ten quid for the rest of the year. We will be back um, very soon. So. That was absolutely insane. Um, yeah, I was spinning up my life mad. And, uh, so I was asking him, he was saying that it's um, the max that they can run it at is 25 miles an hour. And it was about um, 21, 22 um, when, he, when he sent me up there. So um, yeah, but oh my God, that was, it was such a rush over from up there. I loved it, yeah. It really, the force of the wind in there, you were spinning up there, you really were. But it was good fun, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it. But yeah, wow, crazy. But absolutely loved that. And I was, you know, I was just say the staff of both of them guys were really nice trying to get them open for people. And yeah, they were really good. So thank you very much to, to, um, to the staff on the rides today. They've been really nice, they've been great, yeah. But um, now we're going to go and film a construction update on the brand new 10 inversion roller coaster. So that's where I'm going to end the video here. So I want to say thank you very much for watching the video today. Um, now, I know we haven't seen as many animals as we ideally wanted to or whatever, but you know what, it's a new vlog, isn't it? And, you know, it gives you a bit of a taste of what a Zoo Plus day is like here at Flamingo Land. Obviously, the weather isn't always going to play out um, as you want it to, so that's what it's like. We still did see plenty of animals, and we have had a really nice and enjoyable day, and it was helped by the fact we managed to get on Mumbo Jumbo twice, and I got to have a, an insane go on the, um, the pterodactyl as well. Yeah, so we really enjoyed the pterodactyl. Had a really nice day, so thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, which will be coming very soon. And um, please now go over and watch the 10 Inversion Coaster construction update, which I'm about to start filming now if you haven't watched it already. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.